Hello everybody, I'm Alyssa and welcome back to Book Bar and welcome to my October end of month wrap up. The second half of the month I read 24 books, a lot of them were novellas, but 24 books. The first half of the month I believe I read 14, yeah 14, so 28 total, no 38 total books read this month. If you want to know about the first 14, I have it. I will have that video linked up there, but I'm just going to go ahead and get on into it. My lighting is terrible, so hold please. That's a little better. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get on into it. We're going to start with I Finished Grimstone by Sophie Lark. I read this for a vlog where I read five new releases. Um, I will link that up above, but originally I gave it four and a half stars. Looking back, it's probably more like three and a half, but this was Dane and Remy. And Remy is like new to town. She's just moved to town uh, where like her, her uncle had passed away and she's going to move into his house and like renovate it and flip it is the plan. But problem is there is a man that owns the, the road that she has to live on, drive on. And that man is Dane and Dane has like a, he, he can't go out in the sun. He has some sort of illness can't go out in the sun and so she is going to like work for him and do stuff for him so that she can use the road and it's twisty and turny and kind of creepy so it was great for October but I gave it four and a half originally looking back it's probably more like three and a half I really should start like sitting on my ratings instead of just doing it right off the bat but that's fine then I finished Morbidly Yours by Ivy, Ivy Fairbanks. I really enjoyed this. It was super cute. This is one that like I rated it four stars originally, but like I have not stopped thinking about it. So it's more like a five star. Like I haven't stopped thinking about it since I read it. It was so cute. It's like a great like fall time read. It's so it is Lark who is an American from Texas and she moves to Ireland to, for work and she's a widow. And she moves in and she ends up there, like, she gets a package sent to her and it's a bunch of body bags. And she's like, uh, what? So she takes them next door. She ends up, she's living next door to a, like, she lives next door to a cemetery and a mortuary. That's the word that I cannot think of. She lives next door to a mortuary. And the owner of the mortuary is Callum. And Callum needs to get married by his 35th birthday, which is his next birthday, or he will lose his livelihood, his house, everything. And so she agrees to help him like find a wife and of course things are going to happen. But yeah, originally I gave it four stars, but really it's more like five stars. I like still think about it. Oh, so it was really, then I read a bunch of books for the novellathon. One of them was the time I got drunk and needed a love potion at a werewolf by Kimberly Lemming. This is the second book in the Mead Mishaps series. It was cute. It was fun. I had a good time with it. Nothing like groundbreaking that this is Brie like the cheese her so i think her last name has something to do with cheese and felix and felix is a werewolf brie is a human and brie is at a bar one night and this guy tries to give her a drink and she like throws it and it had a love potion on it and felix imprints on her and it's like you're my mate and she's like no you're under the spell of a love potion and he's like but i'm not and but he but he is he is so she's like no we need to wait the two weeks for this love potion to wear off uh, it was cute. I gave it four stars. Uh, nothing groundbreaking. I read it for the Velothon. I'll have that vlog. I think I already said that. I don't know. Yeah, it was cute. Four stars. I don't know what I'm saying. Then I finished Twist by Lucia Franco. This was a reread of a book, obviously. Um, I have been wanting to have been like rereading the series slowly, like one a month, having a great time with it. This is the fourth book in the Off Balance series. This is probably my favorite one. Um, the detailing on this cover, like things that I didn't catch the first time like there's something on his chest on his hand like things that like I just didn't catch the first time and now I'm like amazing amazing detailing so yeah five stars for this it's the fourth book in a series follows Rhea and Kova Rhea is a gymnast Kova is her coach older man he is has it does have cheating in it but you know what we stand Rhea and Kova in this house so we are okay with it. <laughs> then I read Hollow's Grove by Lee Jaco. This is the one of her Holly Knight novellas. This is a best friend's brother. It is Evelyn, who 
the hero Dom calls Sunshine and Dom, who is a pleasure Dom. No, his name's not Dom. Dorian. His name is Dorian and he's a pleasure Dom. And they help out his sister, who I can't remember her name, but they help out his sister, who is Evelyn's best friend. Yeah, for like a murder mystery party. And they're forced together. Some stuff happens at the party. It was a good little time. It was a novella. Again, write it for novella -thon. Check out that vlog if you want like more in-depth thoughts, which there really aren't many because it's a novella. But I gave it four stars. I had a good time with it. Then I read Three Trials by Christy Cunning. This is the second book in the um, Dark Side series. It's a white shoes series. We learned a little bit more. I can't say much. Um other than we kind of learn who like Kayla starts to get some of her memories back in this one and so and we learned a little bit more about the four guys that she's with and yeah I had a good time it was three and a half stars I liked it a little bit more than the first one I'll probably continue the series just because they're on audible plus so they're easy I also read this for novella fun then I finished how to marry a Marquess by Stacey Reed this is a historical romance um I kind of been in the mood for historicals and I had read the fourth book in this series a couple months ago and I wanted to go back and read the second book or read the third book. I'm going backwards in the series this time but this was Evie and Richard and Evie is a Richard is a future duke and he has he has a child that was not accepted by his ex-lover out of wedlock and he ends up finding the child and like taking it in and Evie is a proper lady and, and doesn't think that like or in her family doesn't think that he's good enough for her because of the whole bastard child and everything so yeah it was good I had a good time with it I gave it four and a half stars then I finished another novella for a novellathon and that was Bump in the Night by Cassie Mint this was just an age gap forced proximity haunted haunted hotel novella um it was quick read it was like 50 pages 40 pages like that I read it in like one 40 minute sprint not even a full one it did not take me the full time uh, um I gave it three and a half stars it was Penny and Arthur the author and Penny wants to be haunted by a ghost and so she starts working at this haunted hotel and Arthur is staying at the hotel she's a huge fan of this author yeah it was a good time three and a half stars nothing groundbreaking or anything it was quick easy quick and dirty then I finished Midnight is the Darkest Hour by Ashley Winstead. This is a thriller, kind of horror-ish, but thriller. Fantastic. Probably one of my favorite books of the year. Probably one of my favorite books of the month. Absolutely adored it. It is not a romance. But the like tagline of where the crawdads sing meets Twilight meets Thelma and Louise is absolutely spot on. Perfect perfection. I give five stars. Then I finished another novella for Novellathon and that was Can't Escape Love by Alyssa Cole. This is an interracial couple. Uh, it's two nerds as they say <laughs> in this and the heroine is a wheelchair user who can't sleep and Reggie is a heroine and she cannot sleep and she has a really hard time. She was had I think it's she had meningitis when she was young and so now she's a wheelchair user and she had like used to watch this guy that streamed and like played did puzzles and things and he would help her fall like his voice was very soothing and like calming and she would fall asleep to it but now he no longer streams and so she ends up like finding out who he is it's this guy Gus and she like calls him up and like asks him to like help her out and he does and of course things are gonna happen I had a good time with it I give it four stars four and a half stars four stars four stars <laughs> then I finally read Belladonna by Adeline Grace this was good I enjoyed it I gave it four and a half stars probably more like four stars like looking back not like a high four and a half star a lower four and a half star but I had a great time with it this is Cigna who she has like always seen death always had like death like hanging out around her and obviously death um it's a YA like kind of it's kind of it's got creepy vibes there's some pretty creepy stuff that happens in this but yeah I had a great time with it um excited to get to Foxglove but I might wait because I haven't heard the best things about Foxglove and then I know the third book's coming out next year so I might just wait and read that one read them both together because I, like nothing in this was like so groundbreaking that I'm going to forget what happened like if I don't read it right away like if I wait a year so yeah I'm gonna give four and a half stars it was good then I finished Made to Tantalize by Rianne Burnett again read it for a novelathon you're gonna hear a lot that a lot 
Uh, this was tentacle erotica. It was a wild time. Wild time. Uh, Olivia, she's always had a tentacle fantasy. And her and her job, they, she's a scientist. And they capture some an alien. And yeah. She ends up hooking up with the alien Zhao. It ended on kind of a cliffhanger. I'm going to have to continue eventually. But I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, it was a good time. I had a good time with that. Uh, then... Or Shadows, uh, Shadows of You by Catherine Cowles. Um, I absolutely adored this. This book is phenomenal. Plus, I just love the naked hardcover. Like, I love that it has both. Like, honestly, I prefer the naked hardcover to this. But I don't know what to do with the outside. With the... So, I'll keep it like this for now. We'll see. Things might change. Maybe if I move which I am looking to do. So maybe if I move, I'll figure something out and I'll do something with the dust jackets. But yeah, Shadows of You is the fifth book, fourth book in the Lost and Found series. And this is Roan Hartley, right? Is that their last name? Or is Hartley? I think it's Hartley. Roan and Aspen. And Roan is the brother that is like mysterious and has had some trauma in his past due to something due to the events from that happened in the prologue of the first book and aspen is we've met in previous books she's on the run uh she's a single mom and we learn a little bit more about her and just the way ron was with aspen and katie like he is the perfect amount of grumpy like graph hero that just is ooey gooey squishy center for his women because obviously katie becomes his girl like adorable i loved it so so much so much so yeah five stars like five stars of course then i read squeak by vera valentine this was a balloon shifter novella again read for novella uh i i had a time with it uh it was wild it was weird <laughs> like i just i don't even know what else to say um it's a mmf balloon shifter kind of omegaverse like it's spin on omegaverse novella yeah i i mean i don't really know what else to say it's very short like it's like 40 pages so i gave it three and a half stars then i read bloody fairy by beloved this is probably my favorite novella i've ever read this is sina and diesel and diesel's a vampire sina is a fairy kind of like a mermaid because she lives underwater but she's called she calls herself a fairy and yeah her and diesel have a moment together and things go from there it was a good time it's five stars a little bit longer of another like it's like 150 pages but it was still fantastic so good so good loved it then i read hollow by sam Costa. this is the final novella i read for novella thong so yes this was it's like two short stories and the first one is mmm Three guys, two of them are headless, the heads do things, it was wild. And then the other one is more of like a slower courting, um, the headless horseman, hor horseman and um, I can't think of her name. But yeah, it was okay. It was fine. I gave it, I think I overall gave it three stars. Like, the second one was just really slow and the first one was just like, boom, right to it. So yeah, I don't know. Three stars. It was fine. Then I read Where We Belong by Claudia Bergoa. I got this as an ALC from Forever and Always PR. And I had a good time with it. I gave it three and a half stars. It's a single dad, small town, um, we have lots of mutual pining, brother's best friend, like all my favorite tropes. Uh, it's Corey and Ben. And Ben has some trauma in his past. He like, doesn't think he's good enough for Corey. Corey's like always been in love with him. And, like, it doesn't think he wants her, but that's not true. Yeah, it was cute. And, like, she was, like, what bugged me was Corey was, like, really close to the, like, to him and his daughter. And then, like, he, his daughter called her mom or mama or something. And he, like, was, like, no, she's not your mom. And then Corey, like, ghosted him. Like, was, like, bye to both of them. Which, like, that's, like, hard. The kid was only three. Like, she doesn't understand and I get it like Corey was hurt that like Ben would do that but like have a discussion with Ben 
don't just ghost the three-year-old who's already had her mom leave her life. Like, I don't know. It bugged me. But yeah, three and a half stars. Then I read Break... Oh, then I DNF'd Breakaway by Grace Riley. In the first two chapters, um, the guy talked about needing to get laid because his hand just wasn't doing it enough. And the, then the heroine, she was pleasing herself and she threw her dildo at her roommate and talked about getting her lady juices on her roommate and I was like no I'm done like I'm out I'm out I'm out I'm out I've heard great things about the series but like I just I couldn't I couldn't so um I DNF'd that at four percent and I don't think I will pick it up so that's fine then I read On the Shore by Laura Pavlov this is the third book in the Cottonwood Cove series. I've been having a great time with this series. I'm so excited for After the Storm to come out this month. But this is Brinkley and Lincoln. And we know from the last book that Lincoln gets Brinkley fired. He's a hot shot football player and she's a reporter. And she's like not ever noticed because she's a female. She's smaller than the rest. Like she's smaller than all the guys. She's quieter. Like, so she does what she needs. She's like, she's like I need to get this interview. I need to talk to this guy. So she like follows him into the bathroom and he had like, he admitted like he had had some stuff going on in his life and it wasn't the best time for that to happen and for her to follow him in there. And he like tells her about, like he has her removed from a press conference. She has her, he has her removed from his press conference. She ends up losing her job from that. So she goes back to Cottonwood Cove and he ends up going to Cottonwood Cove. It's like a getaway. And he sees her, like first person that he sees is her. And he's like, how did, like, he's like threatening her like at, in Cottonwood Cove. And she, her family is like Cottonwood Cove royalty. And she's like, excuse me, no, no, no. This isn't gonna fly in Cottonwood Cove. I am more famous than you. And like the town like rallies, or like the town is like, mm, yeah, we got Brinkley's back. And of course, things are gonna go from there. And it was just adorable. I loved it. It was my new, it's my new favorite in the series. It was five stars. Then I read Best Frenemies by Max Monroe. I had an ALC of this from Neck Alley and it was cute. Um, this was, it's very loosely connected to Accidental Attachment, uh, which I read a couple months ago and I had a good time with that. This is Katie, who is a math teacher, and her classroom is right next door to Mac's classroom. And Mac is the music teacher, and he is very loud and does lots of loud things. And Katie is very, like, like her class is, like, trying to take a math pop quiz. And his class is over there, like, screaming and playing games and having water balloon fights. And she's just, like, this guy does not take life seriously. So she's just looking forward to going on her vacation to Destin, Florida, and getting away for a while with her best friend. Well, her best friend is up getting really sick, so she's, like, her and she's like and the best friend's like go have a good time just go enjoy your birthday enjoy the week have a good time well they she ended up getting double booked with mac who proceeds to eat her drink her wine eat her donuts like just do all sorts of things that piss her off and he's like i'm gonna be better i'm gonna be better he's not better but then things happen and they start to you know she admits some stuff because something happens to her she ends up in a hospital um high as a kite and <laughs> she may admit some stuff and things go from there and yeah it was cute I ended up giving it four stars it was just a little too over the top Mac was a little too over the top but yeah I had a good time with it like it's definitely the audiobook was great which is what I was listening which is what I was listening to it for but yeah then I finished When Heroes Fall by Gianna Darling I don't know how I feel about this I gave it four stars we'll see how I feel after the second book I do have a vlog coming out soon where I rant about this book quite a bit. I ended up giving it four stars. So this is Dante and Elena. And Elena is kind of a villain in like other stories in this world. And this is like her book where we get to kind of see. And I don't know. I was just, I don't want to, I'm not going to get into it because I do have a vlog coming out in a couple weeks where you will see my full thoughts on this. But yeah, I gave it four stars. Um... The ending kind of pissed me off too. So we'll see. We'll see after I read the second book in the duet how I feel about it all. I do know that there is not great endometriosis rep in this. Uh, I personally don't have it so I can't speak to the rep but I have heard from people that have it that say that the rep in this is mostly just used as a plot device and it's not good. So do you know that going in? Um, but yeah it was, it was decent. I give it four stars. Could end up going down to a three, depending on how the first, how the second book in the duet is. Could go up to a five, depending on how the second duet is. Could stay at a four. We'll see. 
Then I read Take You Down by McKay Marie. I also read this for the Reading 5 new releases vlog. Um, it reached out to me too, but I didn't really talk about it in that vlog. So um, I will link, the vlog will have already been linked above. But yeah, I had a good time with it. Um, it's a rock star and a like DJ kind of rock star. Scar and Walker and they go on tour together. And Scar is the grumpy one and Walker is the sunshine. So it's grumpy heroine, sunshine hero, which is always fun to read. Um, yeah, I had a great time with it. Maybe four and a half stars. More like four and a half, five. Like, it, I fluctuate between the two. But I had a great time with it. Check it out. McKay is a great, like, I love watching her channel. And I have had a couple conversations with her. And she's super nice and kind. And I'm just so happy for her to have written this book. Then I read <laughs> Spookily Yours by Jen Chipman. This was a, just a cute, like, I wanted something, like, Halloween-y without being creepy. I don't really do scary. Like, Midnight of the Dark is the darkest hour. Got a little too scary at times. It's not a Grimstone. So, I wanted something, like, fun, but also, you know, give me, giving me Halloween vibes. Halloween Town, Hocus pocus -y type vibes. And that is exactly what Spookly Yours was. It is Willow, who is a witch, and she adopts this cat. And she calls the cat Damien. And Damien ends up actually being a human. Or not a human. He's a demon. A prince of the underworld. And yeah, it was cute. I had a good time with it. You know, they're gonna fall for each other. It was a lot, a lot spicier than I thought. Like I was thinking like, I mean, I knew it was, I knew it had like sex on page. I knew that. I had heard that. Um, But like that book had me blushing at times. Like, wild it was so cute though so cute had a great time with it perfect for halloween season could be read not in halloween but definitely like the perfect halloween read then the last book that i finished and i say finished because i'm in the middle of like four books which i will talk about in a minute the last book that i finished was assistant to the villain by hannah nicole meyer may Mayher. i don't know how you say this but look i love the red sprayed edge love it red tower is killing it with their like releases that they're doing like they're doing it for a ton of books like first releases of books and i mean i want them all like i have so many pre-ordered because they're just gorgeous but this was cute i gave it four stars we'll see i wouldn't say it's a romance i mean it is because like the villain and evie's story is like they're they're the heart like they're at the center of the story but if you know how romance is supposed to end it does not end that way so I wouldn't say it's romance there are two more books I think like um I think there's at least two more books in the series so we'll see once we get to those but yeah I had a good time with this um this is the first book that I fully like I ever like annotated oh which you can't even really see I have ever annotated on the first read but I had a good time with it. I'm glad I did uh, because I think that will help because it was there were times I was kind of confused. So it'll help like with the next one to just like go back in and be like, okay, what happened here? Um, it is very low fantasy. Like, like it's, I would say it's more like historical than it is. I mean, there is magic that happens in it, but I don't know. I wouldn't say it's like really fantastical, but I had a good time with it. I gave it four stars. I don't know why I'm complaining but he calls her the villain calls her little tornado and it's just adorable i love that so much but yeah i gave four stars and then so those are all the books that i read i am currently in the middle of quite a few i'm four four books um that's the most i've ever been in the middle of four reasons one of them i'm in the middle of i'm listening to the ethnic cleansing of palestine i'm listening to it very slowly i'm trying to like actually learn it's and it's heavy it's a lot there's a lot of like triggering things in it uh obviously it's <laughs> real life uh and so I'm listening to that slowly like it's not like a memoir where I can just like speed through it and like understand no I need to like take my time with it like because I do actually want to learn and then I am also in the middle of my life in shambles I could have finished that one but I wanted to wait because it's for a blog that's coming out in November and I wanted to save my thoughts for the vlog. I don't want to say them right now. I mean, I know I have a couple of these are for vlogs that are coming out in November, but it, that's a different story. Like 
this is a specific vlog where I feel like my thoughts are important for. So I'm saving it for that. Then I am in the middle of Dark Notes by Pam Godwin. I just haven't had time to finish it. Um, I will probably have it done. I'm filming this on the 31st. I don't think I'll finish it tonight, but it's I'll probably finish it tomorrow. My loan is due back from the library, like, I think not tomorrow, but the next day. So I need to get <laughs> get it read so that it doesn't, my loan doesn't go away. And I know I could turn my um, iPad on airplane mode and it'll be fine, but that's besides the point. And then I'm also in the middle of Watch Your Mouth by Candy Steiner, the second book in her hockey new hockey series. Um, I really enjoyed the first one, so I wanted to get, read the second one. It just came out. I just have needed to prioritize other books over that. So I haven't, I'm like only like 25% of the way through, so don't have much thoughts about it. But yeah, those are the 24 books that I read the first half the second half of the month um stay tuned for next my next video where i will talk about my stats and favorites of the month i'm pretty excited i don't even know what my favorites are going to be yet i might have an idea but i don't know so we'll see but yeah that is all i have for now if you made it to the end of the video leave me a witch emoji because of my oh witch hat earrings which, I mean, I know Halloween will be over by this time, but um, click the link to my Etsy shop down below and get yourself some fun Halloween earrings. There might, I might see about like putting them on like a sale, a discounted price, but yeah, get you some stuff from my Etsy shop. It's linked down below. Use code YouTube10, get 10% off. It's great. I have bookmarks, uh, annotating, annotation bags, uh, stickers, earrings, all sorts of fun stuff check it out great holiday gifts fun stuff to give but yeah um that is all i have for now don't forget to like comment subscribe all that fun stuff it really helps me out and i'll talk to you all in the next one bye